Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to do a multiple level sorting in Excel. Here I have a small data set where I have these regions, these are four regions. I have sales rep names and I have the sales that these people have made. Now what I want to do is I want to sort this data first by region and then by sales. So I want this data to be first sorted by region, let's say east, west, north, south or the alphabetical order. And I want the sales to be sorted within the region. And to do that, I would have to sort first this column and then this column. So let me show you how to do this. Let me copy this data, paste it here and let me show it how to do this here. So to do that, there are two methods. The first one is uh, using the sort dialog box. So you go to the data tab and here you have this sort icon, this sort box icon. And when I click on this, it'll open this sort dialog box here. And in this dialog box, I can specify that I want to sort which column. So I would select, I want to sort a region column. I want to sort it based on the values, the cell values. And there are multiple options. You can sort by cell color or font color or cell icon. In this case, I'm going to go with values and the order in this case i'm going to go with a to z or sending order and now if i click ok at this point in time it would give me a data set which has been sorted by the region column but i also want to sort this by the sales column so in this same sort dialog box i can click on add level and see what happens when i do this it adds another row of these fields and it says in column it says sort by this column and then sort by this column and then you can add multiple levels here if you want in this case after the region column i would select sales column and again i would say i want to sort by values but in this case because these are numbers i would sort it from largest to smallest and now when i click ok see what happens it gives me this column which has been sorted from A to Z. So I have East, North, South and West and it gives me the sales and these sales have been sorted within each region. So in East region, I have these sales. These are sorted. Then in North region, I have these sales. These are sorted for North, then for South and then for West. So this is how you can do sorting by multiple columns. So I've uh, done sorting here by two columns. Now there is another way of doing this. Let me copy this data and paste it here. And you may find this method, the method I'm going to show you now a bit faster, but I recommend using sort dialog box, but let me show it to you anyway. So in this case, again, I have the unsorted data and first I want to sort this by region and then by sales. So you can use these icons in again in the data tab in the sort and filter group you have these two icons and you can use these icons to sort the data and in this case in this scenario when you're using these icons you need to go from the second column to the first column so in this case we sorted region first and then sales first in this case we would first sort sales and then we will sort region so in this case i've selected the sales column and I'm going to sort it based on the, uh, the values in an, a descending order. So I want the largest value to be at the top. So I'm going to use a Z to A, this one. And when I click on this, it will show me this warning, sort warning. It says, do you want to expand the selection or you want to continue with the current selection? In this case, it has identified that there are uh, cells and columns and rows that have data and these cells and columns are adjacent to this selected column. So it is giving me this warning. In this case, I want to expand the selection because I don't want only this column to get sorted. I want this entire data set to get sorted. So I would keep this uh, default option selected, click on sort. This would sort this data first by the sales column. And then I would select region, go to A to Z because I would want this to be in an ascending order. Click on this icon. Again, I get the sort warning. Keep the expand the selection option checked and click on sort. And when I do this, I get the same set, the same data set, the same level of sorting. So in this case, we have used a dialog box. And in this case, we have used the sort icons. I recommend you use this method, the sort dialog box method, because it is less confusing. You can visually see what the sorting order is. So I can select uh, sort here by region and then I can add a level and then I can sort it by sales and I can visually see and 
check and double check that everything here is fine, which you don't get to do when you do it by the icons. Another reason I recommend using sort dialog box is you get the option to sort by cell color or font color or cell icon. Now, while these are not the, this common, but in case you have some cells highlighted and you want those highlighted cells to be at the top, then you can use that option. So these are two ways you can use to uh, do a multi-level sorting in Excel. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.